Hey, welcome back YouTube world to the 10th episode of Rod's Rundowns. Thank you for the support guys. Thank you for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. If this is the first time you've ever seen any of my videos, I make videos to help people save money on purchases you're about to buy or any type of life hacks that I've ever had or ever used. So if you ever find my videos helpful or interesting, please subscribe guys. It helps me out, helps me keep going and it lets me know I'm doing something right. So thanks again. Today I'm giving you a rundown on my classic accessory boat cover that I bought about a year ago. I'm gonna show you how it's done through this Texas heat and is it worth $150 or whatever it costs for your boat. Check this out. All right guys, and here it is. My classic accessory boat cover that I bought off of Amazon for about 150 bucks with a center console. This is gonna be on my Blue Wave that's 19 feet. And this is actually the 19 foot selection that they have online. It fits a little bit big and I think I measured wrong, so I'm gonna tell you why and how they want you to measure here in a second. All right guys, to start off, the first thing to notice about this is definitely the fade. How bad this thing's faded over time in this year. But in Southwest Texas, what do you expect? It's pretty much in the direct sunlight all day, every day, in the weather, in the elements. But no matter how bad it faded, it did its job, kept the boat clean, so that's all I can ask. All right, so another positive would be these clips, the hardware that comes with the boat that helps tie it down or does tie it down. None of them broke, none of them messed up. They do their job, they keep the tarp down. So that's definitely a plus. Another cool thing about the boat, it comes with the motor cover also that's actually built in and attached. So that's pretty neat. You don't have to go out and buy a second one to cover your motor and protect it from the sun as well. And if I didn't talk about it before, this is actually trailerable. So you don't have to take it off when you're moving it. Cut these, trim them down. That way they don't get caught up in the tires or anything like that. It's got these two little air ports on both sides. That way you can let some breeze in. It's not getting nasty, humid, and moldy inside. But speaking of mold, you can see that's where I had a low water spot. Or that's where the water puddled right there. Even though I tightened it down and tried to put stuff in there to lift it up, it's still gathered in some spots, which that's to be expected. Now let's talk about the main reason I'm making this video is this cut right here. I really don't know how it happened. I was tightening it down like I normally do and that popped up. So after a year's worth of using and tightening down, I got a rip. But in the same sentence, talking about the worst part about the boat cover, I'm gonna talk to you about the best part and that's the warranty these guys got. They give you a five year limited warranty and within three days, they responded and sent me back a new package. Now, the biggest, biggest, biggest issue I had with this company was this right here. This is actually the pole that helps you prevent from puddling up water. It actually helps support the tarp or the boat cover. I did not get it with my first purchase. I don't know why. It said it was. It said it was going to come in the package, but it didn't. And I'm not the first person to complain about this, too. You can actually see online other people talk about this in the review section of how they did not get this pole in there. So... I'm glad I got it this time, but I should have got it the first time also. So when you get your package, you're going to get this. Hopefully, I can't promise that. And then a carrying case along with the instruction manual on your new one. So like I said, when I put the new one on, I'll show you the difference in the color. And I'll probably give mine to my neighbor. He doesn't have a boat cover, so I'll help him out with that. So just a quick recap. The material is good. It does block water from getting inside the boat. It does puddle where it needs to and doesn't let it go all the way through. So that's good. Um, also, the straps, the hardware that come with it are good. They haven't messed up in a year. Uh, the bad, after a year, I got a rip, but I also got a replacement. So, can't complain on that. All right, and that's the new one. You see the color change? Big, big difference. So, I have some positives and negatives on this new one, even. It fit a little bit tighter, which is good. The straps are pretty much in the same locations, I think. I don't know, it just kind of throws me off a little bit. But, I broke a clip. One of the clips already got broken. All I did was tighten it, so we'll see how this goes. I don't know. Stuff is a little bit different. The ports are a little bit different. The rear's a little bit different. This location that they put the straps in closes these gaps back here, so I kind of like that a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Color looks good. But overall, guys, if you don't got thousands of dollars to build yourself a garage or a patio or a cover for your boat, 150 bucks doesn't sound too bad. So if anything changes with this new one, I'll let you all know. But for now, thanks for watching Rod's Rundowns. You'll have a great day, guys. See you on the next one.